Or is it lady? Just grace? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's get going. Who's got, oh, Zach Osterman, go ahead. Who's got the microphone? Grace, we've asked you about this in different ways, but now as you actually start to think about the process of preparing for a season kind of in this new offense, Coach Woodson, you've talked about, Coach Woodson's talked about showcasing kind of the, the parts of your game, facing the basket, being even beyond the perimeter. Where do you think that is, and, and how much further do you think you can take it in terms of what you can do offensively, you know, this season? Um, Coach Woodson, uh, he just gives me a lot of confidence to play. All the coaches do, actually. Um, but I think I'm getting better every day. Uh, he urges me to shoot. We watched him the other day. He's just like, what do you want you to do right here? What do you want you to do right now? Like, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. So it's just like every day just gives me more and more confidence. And then again, handling the ball, facing the basket, playing the game. Uh, it's really what I used to do in high school a lot. Uh, so it's really just getting back to the, my roots and just uh, getting more and more comfortable with it again, and just getting better every day. So. Yep. Grace, I asked Trace about this, about, I guess, you guys point up at the banners before each workout. I'm just curious about, you know, that standard and that expectations of having, and I know it's preseason and, you know, everyone has rosy expectations, but just how that maybe drives you guys or will drive you guys uh, to this next month preparing for the season. Um, when we talk about it every single day, and, uh, and we don't want to just talk about it, we're trying to be about it. Um, so I think... Uh, Every day we come in, we look at those banners before we work out. After we work out, we're working towards a bigger thing, uh, bringing back basketball greatness to Boonton, Indiana. So I think just it just really motivates us every single day to just come in here, even on days where it's tough or it's so tired or whatever. But when you point them there, you just want to be better every single day. So it's a good motivation for us. Mike? Reese, I asked Trace this question too. I believe you're the actually the elder state statesman on the roster now. Um, I'm just curious, since you've been here, how much has being a student athlete changed? You know, you've got the transfer portal, you've got name image and likeness. Do you feel much more empowered than you did when you arrived? Um, I would say the NIL stuff definitely makes you feel a little more empowered. Um, you were talking to people way more than you were before. Um, I mean, you can just really benefit off of who you are. And yeah, basketball is one of the top platforms. So, I mean, a lot of our uh, teammates and things are doing really well off of it. And I mean, I think it's an exciting thing for college basketball is people being able to. I think it's, we deserve it. I think we put in a lot of time to this. And I think overall it will be good in the long run. Go ahead. How are you doing, Race? Great, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, when you, I don't think you've asked you this, but when you decided to, uh, come back to Indiana. I just what were kind of those first conversations like with Coach Woodson, and uh, what really like kind of resonated with you and, and made you want to come back? Um, I'd say like when I was in the portal, and Coach Woodson was calling me, calling me almost every day when I was home. Uh, he really was just being real with me, uh, and it was just like he's a real human. He's a good guy, and then like tell me what he wants me to do and play my game and do this and have a relationship and. All this, and I'm thinking, I'm like, I know Coach Woodson is, I know his history, I know who he is, I know what he's done. And then after, like, he's telling me who he is, and I can tell he's real. My dad talked to me, he knew he was real. Um, and I think, like, I always, I said this before, I said, I don't know how you can say no to Coach Woodson. I don't, I don't care who you are, I don't know how you can say no to Coach Woodson. Mike. Trey, how much better are you than when you came here? I mean, what have you done to get better as a player? Yeah, uh, I'd say just. Stay in the gym. Uh, I think that's one thing I've really focused on is just keep competing and keep trying to get myself better um, and grow every day. Uh, I think through all season, that's one, one time you can really get better um, and improve yourself in, in your game. Um, and I think I, I, I've improved overall everything. So. Trey, a lot of you guys have been talking about this Coach Woodson's offense being you know, a little bit positionless and free flowing and such. Certainly that seems to fit your skill set well, where you can kind of go from spot to spot. Uh, from what you guys have done so far in practice and scrimmage and such, how, how have you felt that? And, and, and is it, am I accurate there in saying how much you might like filling those roles? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, everyone's touching the ball. And I think that's one thing that has really helped us because we're moving it and we're passing it well. Um, I, I think that's helped me a lot too because there's a lot of open lanes because we're we're starting to open it up a little more, and I'm, I'm down to, I'm able to get downhill um, and create for others, and that's one thing I feel like I'm pretty good at. 
Um, and I think that's helped me in my game um, be able to see that, that part. Dylan. Yeah, Trevor, I kind of wanted to ask you the same question that Kevin asked Race about looking at banners every day, especially as an Indiana kid. What does that mean to you? And did, does that put any extra pressure on you guys to say this is the expectation? Um, no, I don't think it's pressure. I think it's just a privilege for us. Um, I think the history that comes with Indiana basketball, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great experience to be, be here in this gym every day competing for what the history holds. And I think that's one thing that Coach Woodson came back for is to win banners. And I think that's what we're all trying to do. Um, and it reminds us every day when we, we look up the banners and Coach Woodson's point to it, it's something that we work for. Um, and we're not just, we're not working for ourselves, we're working for each other because we want, we all want to see each other succeed and we want to win together. Um, and I think with us being able to look at that after and before practice, I think it just gives us an extra boost and keeps us prepared. Um, I think it's going to help us for sure. Dustin. Uh, Race, to go back to you know your conversation with Coach Woodson when you were in the portal, I mean, was he saying at the time, I, I want you to be a more perimeter-oriented, stretch four type guy, and was that a reason to stay? Did, did you want to do something different than you've done uh, in your previous seasons at Indiana? Uh, yes and no. Um, I wouldn't say he was like, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. He was just like, I want you to play basketball. I don't want you to play anything other than your game. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do, really. I mean, of course, he's going to push you to be better, but it's not that he was like, you're, you're only going to face the basket. You want the kid to do what you want to do. Like, at the same time, he's a coach, and he's going to tell me what I'm best at. You're going to play your strengths, obviously. <clears throat> but, I mean, yeah, he said, if you show me you can do this, then you can do this, and I'm going to let you do it. So, I mean, as long as you show me that you can do something, he's not going to limit your game. And that's, that was something that was exciting when I was talking to him. How are you doing, Trey? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, I asked Anthony the same question, but uh, like right after the coaching change, I think Tipton put out a, a tweet pretty much saying that you were committed to Indiana. Um, and why was that something that you wanted to do without knowing you know, who's going to be on the roster and who the new coach would be? Yeah, um, I think for me, um, I just had trust in Scott Dolson. Um, I knew he was going to make the right choice, and I was behind him the whole time. And he told me to hang tight and trust in the process. And I, I, I had his back. And I think that's one thing I wanted to show um, to everyone that I, would, I was going to um, leave no matter what. Uh, I think that's just one thing for me. That's that was my plan the whole time. Um, and it was, um, it, it was out of nowhere, but um, I, I think that's my, about my plan. So. Okay. Anything else, gentlemen? You're dismissed. Thank you. Okay, media, um, doors open at 2.30 on Saturday.